Hastings left Salt Lake City. We tracked his movements all the way to Cuba. We have to assume Perseus moved the nuke there. Langley believes Castro could help Perseus smuggle it into the U.S. in exchange for a peek at the hardware, of course. That isn't gonna happen. What's the plan? The last read we have on Hastings came from 30 miles south of Havana. We suspect Perseus is using an abandoned compound there to hold the nuke. They're working under the radar, so expect moderate security. I say we smash and grab. Parachute in, grab the nuke, skyhook out. And what if the nuke isn't there? It's there. The only reason Perseus needs Hastings in Cuba is to prepare it for arming and detonation. There you have it. Hudson will arrange our exfil while we're en route. If everyone's ready, let's move out. Adler's late. No, love. We're early. Adler should be checking in right about... Spark, we're in position. Copy that. We're moving to flank. All teams, we do this fast and loud. Find Hastings, grab the nuke, get the hell out. Woods, light up this joint. Now fucking time. Go, go, go! Do the honors, Bill. Moving on. Move like fucking clockwork. Oh, All teams fan out. Defense to the main gate.
copy. Copy that. Let's move! What did these poor bastards do? They finished their job. They love a reward. They've got closed-circuit cameras. We could use them to locate the nuclear bomb. Sharp as ever, Parker. What did these poor bastards do? They finished their job. They love a reward. They've got closed circuit cameras. We could use them to locate the nuclear bomb. Sharp as ever, Mark. Fire all of them. Stay sharp. Contact! Mason, you missed one behind the counter. Thanks, Park. Keep looking. There. Hold it. Adler, we have eyes on the nuclear device. Daddy! Someone's killing the scientists! Where? Second floor. Room 27B. Second floor, center room. Upstairs. Look Let's out. move. Meet you there, Park. Crude, but effective. Can't keep your eyes off me, huh, Park? Bell, use the C4. Adler, we're moving to the second floor. We're pinned down. Move ahead. We'll catch up. Solo son tres. Maten los idiotas.
They're shooting at us! No! Stay away! Seven B. As we're heading inside. Door. Bell canvas the room. Hastings, stop talking. <laughs> Perseus was here. <coughs> he shot us. He escaped. Perseus would never leave his precious nuke behind. He forced us to reverse engineer the detonation codes. They give him full access to Greenlight. What? Are you telling me Perseus can detonate multiple nukes in Europe? I'm so sorry. Hastings, stay with us. How many green light devices can Perseus detonate with those codes? He can detonate all of them. He'll wipe out half of Europe. Blame it all on the USA. We need to find that son of a bitch, Perseus. Time to go, no? Contact! Chopper coming in low. It's gotta be Perseus. All teams head to the roof. Move! Move! Panther, we gotta get some reinforcement circling this compound. Cover my ass! Damn it, doors. Clear! Out of the way! <laughs> Moving up! <laughs> Adler, I got eyes on an HVT. Go. South rooftop. Could be Perseus. He's climbing into a chopper. Lock it down. We have the window. Out the window. Window grenade. Bell, the window. Go. Fuck me. The chopper got away. Fuck Perseus. We got bigger problems. Where you have visual? Roger that ground team, we have visual. Fasten your harness, cross your arms, and remember to keep your backs to the wind. Inbound in two minutes. Heads up, Bark, you got snipers on the roof. Copy that. Shit, Bill, ducks. take out those snipers. They're everywhere. Oh, your best, Lazar. We're low on ammo. Off. Think I'm ready for that drink now. Don't tease me, Park. But we'll have none of that horse piss. You Why won't be. It'll be a proper drunk. Get ready. Here they come.
getting low on ammo. Where's that plane? One minute. Stay focused. I'll tell you what. When we get out of this, I'm by. Now that's something worth fighting for. Team, this is Skyhook. Your zone is hot as hell. Can we lend an assist? That would be much appreciated, Skyhook. Roger that. Help us on the way. Roger that. Clearing the roof now. Firing. I can see the plane. Park, we need to hook into the line, now! We'll do it in turn. Bell, you harness up first. We'll cover. Go! Take cover! Shit! You go in with the intel you have, not the intel you want. We paid the fucking piper down there. You think this is Bell's fault? I don't know whose fault it is. I just know that Perseus doesn't have a single fucking nuke. He's got dozens. Millions of people are gonna die, and the United States will take the blame. You need to find out where he's planning to broadcast the activation signal. How are we gonna pull that out of our ass? Bell knows where it is. Bell? This goddamn science project was a failure! Don't count Adler out yet. The man has a deep bag of tricks. Come on, a little further. Sims, get the gurney. Bell, I feel like I owe you. We're going to lose a lot more than Lazar if we don't execute this next move correctly. We need you to hang in there for one more assignment. I'm counting on you again, Bell. Sims, get the dosages ready. All of them. Adler, stop wasting our valuable time. He's of no use to us anymore. Stay alert, Bell. You're the key to stopping persons. You always have been. No more half-assing it. We're doing an intracerebral injection. Injecting directly into the brain could provoke seizures, or worse. Damn. Through the eye socket. You sure about this, Doc? Memory should begin almost immediately. Bell, listen to me. I need you to remember. Think back to our time in Vietnam, one more time. We need to finish what we started. We had a job to do. Think, Bell. Perseus. Do you remember coming face to face with Perseus in Vietnam? EKG is spiking. Shit. 
heart rate's off the charts. I need you to relax and focus, pal. Your helicopter crashed. You made your way through the jungle, alone. You found a bunker. Do you remember the bunker, Bell? We need to know what's inside that bunker. Do not trust Adler. Adler is lying to you. Do not trust him. Do not listen to Adler. He is lying to you. He is lying to you. Do not trust Adler. During a mission to investigate reports of a Soviet bunker, your chopper was hit by ground fire. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. The crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You ran forward and picked up an M16. fled into the tree line. It was then you realized you were the sole survivor. You set off to locate the bunker. The path split near a ruin, so you took the right fork, not the trail to the left. Russian voices from a cave across the river, so you went to investigate. 
Bell. I need you to turn around and go into the cave. The zip line nearby was the best way back to the cave. You wanted to get to that bunker as soon as possible. You equipped your shotgun and had a bow with you. That's when you discovered VC soldiers meeting with Soviet agents. Yes, Bell. That was the door into the Soviet bunker. Yes, good, the bunker. Now tell me about Perseus. Ah, we almost had it. Let's run six. Okay, ready. Bell, we've got a job to do. According to your debrief, you woke up and the rest of your crew was missing. The VC were on the ground searching for survivors. You readied your bow to take them out silently. path split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right.
You mentioned crossing a bridge near a village. I thought it was somewhere on the other side. At the fork, you followed the road right toward the sound of gunfire. Seeing a firefight, you readied your M16. I stirred up a hornet's nest. Chopper support ASAP. Roger that. Chopper inbound. This was the bunker entrance you described in the report. This could be the onset of another focal seizure. Don't stop, Bell. Fuck! Fuck! Hand me the fallback scenario manual. Here it is. Bell, we've got a job to do. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. Crash survivors were defending against a DC attack. You readied a grenade launcher and charged ahead.
That doesn't sound like you. The path split near a ruin. So you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. Reports at the bunker across the bridge. You went left at the fort, not right. Two allies were pinned down on a ridge. You readied your sniper rifle to assist. Hit by napalm, you would find a hidden bunker door. Go well, check it out, Bell. I don't care if the door was fucking stuck. Open it. Another injection. Do it now. Heart rate is spiking. I'm not sure how much longer Bell can last. Good. Everything's stabilizing. Heart rate is coming down now. Stop wasting my time with this hallway. Turn around. What? The lab? What the hell is Bell doing in the lab? Bell, forget about the damn lab. I need to know about the bunker. Comrades, the United States and its allies slowly consume
each other for years. It appears the subject's programming is beginning to take hold. Then we the hell of Vietnam together. We've got a job to do. Can Bell survive another round? Now you're asking me. Do it. We're not leaving empty-handed. Script 17. Ready. Bell. We've been over this already. Skip ahead to the next part. The bunker door was right there at the ruins, Bell. You went in. Yeah. Bell, go into the bunker now. States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. Our leaders continue to weaken under this threat. It is the moral duty of Perseus to act when they will not. Soon we will possess an American nuclear bomb. The key to unlocking their entire green light arsenal. Once we control the green light arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. You gotta admit I'm surprised. I didn't think they'd recover so fast. We tried everything. Normal forms of interrogation won't work. Breaking a subject's will and erasing their mind is a difficult and painful process. That's a small price to pay. The CIA's mind control program has had a great deal of success with implanted memories. You want me to tell them about my time in Vietnam? Lastly, you'll need a command phrase to trigger the implanted memories. We have a job to do. We have a job to do. You had to reach the Soviet bunker. It appears the subject's programming is beginning to take hold. We've got a job to do. We've known each other for years. Fought together, bled together, been through the hell of Vietnam together. We've got a job to do. And now the training's complete. We just need to give the subject a name. Bell. Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. You've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. The United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. We are hours away from Perseus detonating nuclear bombs in every major European city. We'll do whatever it takes. Some of us have crossed the line to make sure the line's still there in the morning. No one's gonna brand us heroes or villains. They don't know us. As for me, I've been chasing this ghost for 13 years. That ends now.
gotta go! Now! They did it, Mr. President. They stopped the nukes. Thank God. And the CIA. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all. My hand, Bell. We did it. This is a message to Perseus and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell. Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah. After capturing Kasim Javadi, we've convinced him he's better off working for us rather than against us. The death of Arash Kadavar opens a path for Kasim to take control of their network. He'll give us deeper insight into Soviet activity in the Middle East, and with our resources behind him, he should be able to influence regional affairs for years to come. What about Anton Volkov? Volkov has become a prime source of information since his capture. After interrogating him, MI6 quickly established a series of listening posts in East Berlin. We've already intercepted messages from the KGB to assets throughout the city. We're poking holes in the Iron Curtain. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover Agent Azale's body from the compound in Cuba. President Reagan personally reached out to his family and his caskets in transit to Tel Aviv. As you know, Helen Park returned to London. She'll continue to recover from her injuries there. Afterwards, MI6 plans to give her a task force dedicated to finding Perseus. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us, thanks to the help of one of our own. Not anymore. We took down that son of a bitch Aldrich, as well as his key assets here in the States. It'll take Perseus a while to recover from this one. What about Europe? Not only did we stop a nuclear attack, we managed to take out Major Vadim Rudnik. That should be a significant blow to Perseus's European network. We also flushed all of Rudnik's key assets down the shitter. Maybe someday Perseus can join them. Hudson, you're the Shakespeare of Langley. And Bell. Arctic air. There's the head, doesn't it? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision at your own accord. I just want you to know that this little thing that's happened with you and me, it was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that kid. 
Heroes have to make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal. 